What's up, everybody? And today we are back with episode 14 of Farming Simulator 2017. And today, I promised you guys in the last episode we would begin the act of bailing. Right now, we are getting our um, fields planted. We got 12 right now getting cultivated. 14 and 15 are almost planted. And then uh, we'll start uh, fertilizing and getting that stuff going on. Um, so right now, what we need to do is use the last tractor that we have right now to our ability and start getting the equipment we need um, here uh, because it is going to be a couple trips down to the uh, shop to get what we need. Um, so first thing we need, obviously, to bale is a baler. Um, I've decided to go with the roll belt or actually... Not the roll belt. The big baler 340, which is New Holland, um, $102,000. So it's expensive, but it's the square baler, uh, easier. And then we're going to get an auto stacker. But uh, by the way, guys, Joe is here in the chat. He can uh, say hello. Hey, guys. Yeah. So um, what we're going to do is, uh, or what I'm going to do is get this. And then let's see. No upgrades available. All right. And we got 144 left. So now what we'll do is get the auto stacker, which only stacks 16 bales. That's okay. It's not that much, but it's okay. Uh, there is no upgrades for it. And we have whopping 70,000 left. So what else do we need? I need... Oh, I know what I need. Uh, tether. Or no, when we're... Uh, all right, sixty-two thousand is going to cost us. So it's definitely not cheap. Um, any of this stuff is not um, not cheap stuff. So let's go ahead and buy this. A uh, good thing about the wind rower is we can use it many different ways. We can use it for the grass that we cut. We can use it. I mean, it, it has so many benefits that that uh, you know it's definitely worth getting the biggest one instead of just keep on upgrading. I wish they could have put the crone baler in a big pack. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping, like, they don't add too many more mods that I wish I would have had before I get the stuff. Because, I mean, like, I need to get the equipment, you know what I mean? Like, you know, I don't have time to wait for, for them to uh, come out with a certain kind of this or a certain kind of that. Well, it's forever updating, so... No, I know, but I'm just saying. i got to make sure that my worker is still doing... Okay, he's got it. For a second, though, I thought he he was gonna quit and do a different a different thing there. So, anyways, what we're gonna do is go down to the uh, shop and pick up our new equipment. See how it all works. Um, this first case, fourteen fifty-five, I am gonna be getting rid of um, within the next few episodes. Um, I've had it since the beginning of the game. It's been about with me for a hundred days. It lost you know almost all of its money uh, in value it, it's not worth really much anymore so that being said um, as much money as it costs to upkeep a day um, I'm probably gonna get rid of it and uh, I might get a smaller newer tractor um, maybe just a, like a 70 horse or I was talking to Joe about getting like a 75 horse uh, which is less than this but to be honest to run a windrow and stuff like that you don't need that much of power so, you know, anything that's too small for this, or I should say too big for this, um, we'll use the bigger tractor, or we can always use the, uh, the other blue New Holland tractor. Um, so let's go ahead and get to the shop, see what equipment we have bought. I'm hoping everything looks good. Did Never. they put the other wind rower in there yet with the, uh, the wheels, not the power takeoff one? No, they're all power takeoff. Oh. Uh, they're not really the most efficient ones. Can't really go that fast with them. Oh, no. I do have the wheels. Yeah, we'll get the one with the wheels. Yeah, that's what I That's what I have. Uh, well, I have the most expensive one, the widest one. Because that's what I needed. Because my harvester only does rows. So I would have a hay laying everywhere. So now I'm going to just use this. and Wow. It is pretty nice. I don't think nice. they pull one with wheels. Yeah, well, they, they put one on wheels, yeah, they do. It's 
nice. Are you talking about the one, same one I'm talking about? Like the, it collects hay with wheels, like not the ones that spin all the time. Did you have to turn it on? Well, we can't, I can't turn it on until I unfold it, but I'm talking about this one has wheels on all the wings or whatever I should say, and it might use the wings, but it has wheels to roll on the ground. Yeah, it's not the same one I'm talking about. Yeah, then they probably won't have that for a while, or for at least a little bit. I didn't realize that Farming Sim actually allows you to send the mod, and it'll actually get posted in the thing as beta. If you go in beta, there's like 20-some different mods that I don't even have. There's trucks, there's no John Deere, nothing like that, but there's there's other stuff. They remodded the 1455 case and redid some stuff on it. It's pretty cool. Those are all mods that you know get approved each week or whatever. All right, so let's go ahead and I just wanna we, we can't really use the wind rower yet, so we're just gonna probably drop it off and go get our next piece of equipment. We'll see how this goes. Come on, win over. Whoa, almost just a guy tree. Okay. So, like I said, this is getting planted. Um, you know, I don't know how much we'll be able to do in this episode. I'm gonna try and get everything planted very quickly, and then we will get a harvest going as quick as possible go ahead and first drop off the wind rower. Wind rower is really nice. Okay, what so... What did you plant? What did I plant? Yeah. Uh, wheat, um, I think. I think, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I think wheat. Um, I did wheat because what I'm going to do is... Um, I'm going to do this with the bales. But I also had another idea where if there's ever a great demand, um, which they didn't allow you to do before, I can pick up in a forage wagon the wheat on the ground and actually sell it and sell the stuff out of the harvester and basically get my full on everything out of it, um, which I wasn't able to do in 15 or 13, which is pretty cool. Because now you can actually just sell what you pick up off the ground with the forage wagon the same way you do what you just get out of the harvester so that works so at any time where I have a great demand for wheat or something I'm just gonna do that forget the bailing because my bailing I mean I don't know how much it makes I'm hoping decent but I know bailing I gotta do before I get cows because that's how you make bedding I mean I could make bedding without it but I need to be able to uh, or no I couldn't because you gotta have a, a bale to tear up to make bedding for it to be a straw blower. Yeah, can't do that. All right. The good thing about this case is once we are done with it, it's almost going to be out of fuel. And instead of me refilling it before I sell it, I'm just going to sell it the way it is. So we're saving money. Even even if it's you know not really the the, the best way or whatever, we're saving the money. So that's what I'm talking about. Well, they already refueled that. No, you refilled the case you sold. The case I sold the other case. I never refilled oh. this one. This one, uh, this one, I barely used. That's why I was surprised how many hours it has on it. Because I must have started using a lot more once I sold the other one. Okay, so we got our lovely harvester here. Or not a harvester. Baylor. Come on, hook up. Okay, so the New Holland so far, looking at it, it looks pretty nice. It's got some work lights on the back. Right. Let's see, what kind of stuff. Only thing I will automatically tell you that I don't like about the Valor gel is what? the color. The red? Yeah, it's the re it's the it's the mod one that we downloaded, but it's not. I don't know. Oh, that's a nicer one. It's nice, but it's just I don't know. You, you could change the color, can't you? you can no, paint it. no, I can't paint it. There's no upgrades, no color, no nothing. I can't do anything to it. 
but that being said that's okay we don't need to change the color it is what it is I think what we'll do is we'll get all the equipment there we'll get ready to plant and then we'll get both fields seeded I don't know if we're gonna get to harvesting guys in this video I don't I don't think we will because I got to plant both of them and then fertilize them and yeah I don't I don't know if we'll be able to do that all in this video so I'd rather just wait, get all the equipment, show you, you know, what I bought, and then uh, what we can do is maybe just do a mission while we're doing something else or whatever. Um, but yeah, I should have done this equipment thing ahead of time, but I wanted to show you guys, you know, what equipment I was buying and, and whatever. Um, but yeah, so far, this, uh, this baler looks pretty nice. Um, it looks like it's going to do the job. And I got $12,000 left over, so ideally, if I could do it, I think what I'm going to do is start saving up. I want to get a shed for all the equipment. Not the same one I bought before. Not with green storage. I want to get it with without the green storage, but bigger. That really big, that big one that you told me you were going to get, the one that's in the game or whatever, I don't know. To me, that one's, like, too big. Which one? The one, the biggest one. The one. The baler? No, 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 not the baler. The, the, the shed. The, sh the, sh the storage for your oh. vehicle. Well, that's the only one that'll fit the 45 foot header. Okay, so we got the baler here. We got the wind rower. We got the anything else? Oh yeah, we gotta go pick up the auto stacker. So let's go pick up the auto stacker, and then we will start to hopefully. Get this guy done seeding, and then we'll fertilize this field first, and then start planting the other one and fertilize. And oh man, it's too much work. It's farming. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Um, you can go check out the Oldie American channel. I will link it in this description. Um, he does basically some funny videos. He's got some videos. Um, he's going to try and do some videos of Farming Simulator, but he actually has farming videos in real life with his uh, lovely farm. Um, but yeah, here in uh, here in Kansas, it's, it's nice. So many uh, farmers. Alright. Where is this game supposed to be based off anyway? I don't know. I really feel like it's really odd that it's only one huge town and like nothing else just a bunch of like I could see that like a Nebraska kind of thing but I'm sorry Nebraska don't have a town with this many trees and, and whatever so you know I don't know but we'll see what's up guys we are back with the auto stacker sorry I had a phone call I had to take um, but Auto stacker right now is looking nice. It is a, basically the same kind of uh, look of the old auto stackers. It doesn't really change, uh, but it is skinny for an auto stacker. Um, I don't know. It looks really, really, really skinny. So it, it. I remember the other auto stackers with bigger tractors. They always looked much fatter than, than this tractor and. I don't know, maybe when I hook it up to my bigger one it would look different, but we got the stacker, we are good to go, now let's get it back and let's hope that this guy is almost done seeding because he's taking forever, alright, I want to get a, uh, a sprayer, the sprayer, the actual sprayer truck, you know a what I mean? A sprayer truck? Like the, the actual sprayer, like the real you know, the thing where it doesn't do damage to your crops, like the, that one, the big one. The self-propelled? Yeah, I don't want to get... Let's just say self-propelled. Well... No, no, the sprayer truck? Sprayer... <laughs> sprayer truck? Okay, so we got the auto stack here. Let's Have you ahead. ever seen one of them in real life? Yeah. yeah. They are enormous. Yeah, it's really odd, though, that this is as skinny as the tracker. Kind of a little weird. Um, so that's all good. What is this worker doing? Is he not working anymore? Oh, you lazy immigrant. 
you lazy immigrant. You stop working. Or he got stuck and I'm still paying him right now. Trump will take care of him. Yeah, he will. I don't understand what he's doing. Oh, because the tank's empty, that's why. That makes sense. I thought I filled it up on... Oh, man. This tractor. It's costing me. Trying to figure out what he needs. He doesn't need that, he needs the other fertilizer. Okay. See, what's weird is, I guess I'm gonna have to buy the other fertilizer because it's not. It says it's out of seeds, but it's not letting me fill it with seeds. Oh, there we go. Man, that thing gets out of seeds very quickly. Alright, so we're full with seeds again, once again. Let's go ahead and pick up the front piece. Kind of wish it would tell you that he was out of seeds a little quicker, but that's okay. I really want to fast forward time because we're in like this deep fog. That's okay too. Almost, he's almost done. Uh, done doing. He's got to do. Let's go ahead and see the cultivator. He's almost done. Let's check up on our actual farm. See what they need. Okay, so we're we're doing really good right now. Um, we need to get this finished cultivating. We need to do a couple more things, but besides that, we are doing very good in the farm. Um, let's see. Yeah, see my tractor, my new tractor, Joe. It's all dirty. Did you have it on uh, fast to dirt? No, I have it on normal slow. But finally, like it got dirty because it was all muggy and whatever, and finally it actually got like filthy. You know when it rains, it uh... washes them. Yes. Well, that's realistic. I mean, you have to admit. Like, I'm not saying yeah, but it, it, I'm it not saying it makes them clean, clean, but I'm saying it makes them, you know, cleaner. It it doesn't really clean it. It uh just spreads all the dust around, and just leaves it, and when the water evaporates, it leaves dried spots of dust. All right. So let's go ahead and check out the wind rower uh, while we're wasting time. This is why I said that we probably won't have time to actually do anything with harvest because it's just not going to happen. Everything's not going quick like I thought it would. So you can hire a worker with a wind rower, which is cool. And the wind rower looks like it's doing a pretty cool job. goes pretty darn far so it should be very quickly that it'll work for us all right so let's let this uh, wind rower get back to folded wait wind rower wind rower you said rower whatever I don't care do I look like a farmer um this guy's got to get done already. He's taking forever. I got to get a bigger cedar. That's our next goal, guys. Before we get animals, we're getting a new cedar. Can't take this three little meters every little five seconds. Get the Amazon. Yeah, I'd love to, but it costs money. Make some money. Yeah, well, hopefully with this... Um, I'm making it rain. Hopefully with this harvest, I... To do well. All right, so got the log trailer over here. Got this here. Got ten thousand. Try to think. Really, I mean, I'm debating should I keep the case fourteen fifty five for a little longer, or should I just get rid of it? I don't feel like I have a use for it. I mean, I really don't. Like right now, even if I had this, 
you know, I have no other piece of equipment I could be going any faster or production, you know, efficient with. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to sell this real quick. So we're going to sell the Case 1455. I mean, it costs $1,100 a day. So it's, it's not a cheap machine. I mean, my brand new one cost me 411 and my older 8340 cost me 607 My loader, everything's, you know, four or 500 bucks a day. The, the harvester's so old that it cost me 2500 a day. I mean, it's not a cheap game. All right, so my balance is $20,000, which isn't bad. I sold the, uh, did I tell you, Joe, I sold the uh, the wood thing, the, the heating wood plant or whatever. I got rid of it. Did you? Yeah, because now I can sell the wood chips at the, the mill. And I didn't realize because I'm making like literally two thousand dollar more. So like when I come in with five harvest, I'm making you know ten grand more than I would if I was just doing six grand, six grand, six grand. And I mean the placeable thing's cool because it's closer, but the truth being told, it's still a place where I can't move it. It's not transportable. It's not more efficient. It's just I placed at my like home base. Oh whoopie do, you know. So I just I got rid of it. Um. So let's, I just want to take a look at sheds and see what kind of stuff can I get. See, I'm not going to be able to... See, what is the hayloft for? It's a silo for hay. But, like, can you take, a, like, hay bales and put them in there? No, you put, uh... Because it shows a hay bale next to the little thing where it accepts. Well, then I guess you can put a hay bale there. That's weird. A bee house. A bee house and stuff like that would actually really make me good money. I told you to get that in the first place. Do you have any of them? Yes. Okay, so... No, I'm not getting that. I just want to see... Yeah, I mean, a, a medium vehicle shelter cost me 42000 I don't have that kind of money. I get bees on my farm. I could do one of these though, which would greatly help. But I mean, that's just wasting nine thousand dollars for that. Nah, I ain't doing that. I mean, the greenhouse things—they make money, but you got to fill them with water and manure. So that involves you having that really close. I mean. You can't really put them at your main farm because if you do, they're so far away that you could have manure transport or something like that. You know what I mean? I always put them next to the cows. Yeah, yeah. Because I got to run water out to the cows anyway, so it makes more sense. All right, so let's wait for this guy to get done. He's taking forever. Is our other guy done yet? Yes, he is. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and clean this, this piece of equipment up. Cultivator. Alright, so let's go ahead and wash up the tractor here. We will wash the cultivator and we will just try and move a long time until this is done uh, the only other thing I can really do right now is hook up to the sprayer and see if enough time has passed to be able to start to spray um, the field with this tractor um, but I don't I can't make a guarantee that it is ready alright so we got the cultivator all cleaned up here go ahead and park it so let's go hook up to the sprayer now it's kind of really odd driving it with the uh, nice brand new tractor and it is empty of course so that's going to be a big cost for us not gonna be cheap. 
Do you have a sprayer, Joe, or no? No. It is so expensive. It's like thirty-five hundred dollars for the the because I have the portable, I have the fertilizer tank placeable, so it cost me like double. It's nuts. See what I used to do was you get the uh, the fertilizer that is the same width as the cedar, and then you put the fertilizer in the front of the tractor, and then you put the cedar in the back, and then it fertilizes the seeds at the same time. Yeah, but yeah. now what they do is they have the cedar that uses fertilizer. Oh, but I can do that, though. Oh, so you're saying it's already fertilized? Yes. But it's only like the first stage. Huh. Because guess what? I can now, with my magnum, I can put the uh, sprayer in front. Which is cool. Well, you could have did that with the New Holland, too. The New Holland, though, the weight. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't have done well. It can't handle much well, in the front. Yeah. Yeah, but it had the the cedar in the back. Yeah, yeah, but the cedar's only three three big, so I would have been respraying for nothing. Like until I, I wouldn't do it with the cedar until whatever. But it's just cool that I can put that up front if I wanted to. Like I don't know. This guy's got to get done. He's got like another twenty more minutes of work. He's taking forever. Okay, so. Harvester, everything is cleaned up. All the new equipment is over here. Everything's delivered. I mean, really, I don't know what else there's. I mean, we could drive around and look for a mission. I could do that. I guess that's what we're going to do, because until I get something to do, otherwise. Let's go ahead and drop the cedar. Or the cedar, the sprayer. And let's go look for some missions. I don't know. I'm debating to buy Field 19. I could, I could really widen Field 19. Like I could make it probably another quarter bigger of what it actually is. It'd be kind of cool. Okay, so oh hey, yeah. Mm. So guys, this is the tractor I would be talking about if I was to buy another one um, or another mini one. It would be like the the Ford Stayer or whatever, something like that. Pretty decent tractor. Does a good job. Stairs got some nice lights. Decent stuff inside of it. And the more missions we do, um, as you guys know, the more liking we have for the actual guy that owns the uh, lot, which is better for us uh, when it comes to buying it. A uh, field like this, you know, can be used for many different things. We can either, you know, make it for, you know, hay bales, but really, if there's anything I was to choose to do here, it'd be more higher expensive uh, crops or more whatever, um, really, to get more money um, and then eventually I'd probably just make it a grass kind of place or I would cultivate it and then put sheds on it or something like that it Plant is poplar yeah but that's really that costs a lot of money you gotta have special everything special harvester special this that whatever it ain't cheap okay, I don't understand I just I just hard or I just sprayed
Okay, so we're about half the time right now. So we'll get two or three thousand from this mission. Oh, not even. I got like 2,300. Forget this stupid mission. I was dumb. Alright. Can we do any other missions that are actually worth it? And not a waste of my time? Um. Let's do this. Let's check. Ah, oh, of course. Can't do anything there. Can we do anything in this? In field 23. 23 is actually going to take us too long to do. Um. Bring in, you know, close to 15,000 if we did it, but it'll take too long for us to do, so we can't do that one. So let's go ahead and head back up and see how much farther he's got. But yeah, guys, like that tractor I was just showing you, that'd be the ideal tractor that I'd have um, that I would keep. Um, that's obviously newer, looks better. It's got that, you know, digital speedometer. You know, it's a pretty decent tractor, and it, it's decent for little toes like the baler or stuff like that. So, uh, we'll see where, uh, where it leads on what we'll buy, but, of course, we always got our nice new tractors to tow everything, so we're not really worrying about... You should actually have a big tractor to tow that baler, because the baler requires a whole lot of horsepower to run it, turn that flywheel. Well, yeah, but I have, I have that, I mean, I have the, a nice three, you know, 300 horse tractor now. Oh, that's like two two hundred horse. No, I upgraded it. It's two eighty eight standard. I upgraded it three ten. Two eighty eight's a lot off three hundred. Not really. Only twelve. Horsepower wise. Yeah, but I already upgraded. I already told you it's three ten. Mine's three ten. I upgraded it. Oh, never mind. My old. That's cool. The stair that I was just using was, I think, a more nicer than I thought. See, like Massey Ferguson, like the MF5600, that'd be like a tractor that I'd buy. 105 horsepower, decent for what I need to do. The Proxmia Power 120, that looks just like a Kubota. They both, I don't know, they look just like Kubotas. Um... This guy needs to hurry it up. Half the tractors in this game I haven't even heard of. No, I mean, they... They're all European-based tractors. Yeah, but here's the thing about that. I can't sit there and say, though, that some of these don't look just like. I mean, you know, certain stuff looks like Kubota in this game. Where, I mean, really, it might be still a European thing, but looks just like Kubota. Okay, who cares? You know, it's just a different name. I mean, that's how I feel about it, but... Alright, Cedar is almost done. Tell you what, guys, I'm going to wrap up the video. Um, in episode 14, we will continue on. Uh, I'll have all this stuff planted and ready to be harvested. And, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in episode 14. Thanks for watching.